everyone, it's Jillian and today's video is something super fun and a little bit different and not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous, but I am going to be making slime from start to finish with no edits, no video cuts, so you guys are gonna get to see every part of me making slime and you can see actually everything that goes into it because normally when I make slime I get to edit bits out so if something's taking too long or I'm not happy with how it looked or something like that, I can edit it, but today that's not gonna happen so I don't know I'm kind of nervous normally if I mess up I can just like edit it out but yeah you guys are gonna see the whole thing today so I don't know should we just jump straight into it I think so so I'm gonna start off with adding some glue and I've got a massive bottle of Elmer's glue and I think I want to make quite a large batch of slime today so I've got a huge bowl so I'm just gonna add some white glue Oh, I'm so nervous for today's video. I can't believe I can't edit anything out. And I always get so tongue twisted. So I always mess up my words and normally I would just edit that out. But I can't do that today. So you guys are going to see the real raw me making slime. Alright, I think that's enough glue. Actually, no, let's go more. Let's make a really big batch of slime. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, so much slime. Eek. Okay, there we go. So we've got some glue in the bowl and I think next I'm going to color this and what I'm going for today is a pink glossy slime base. So I've got some food coloring here and they're all different shades of pink. Oh, I just got really out of breath and I would edit that out but I can't. Okay, so I've got a bunch of different shades of pink food coloring here and I don't know, I think we're going to go with, I might try this color, this is Baker's Rose and to be honest what normally takes me the longest when I'm making slime is trying to get the perfect color because I'm really particular about what color my slime is so we'll just add some of that and now we're going to mix it. Okay, that's a bit more neon than I actually wanted. I wonder if I add a little bit of this soft pink food coloring, if it'll kind of make it a bit more pastel. I don't know. See, you guys, this is literally what takes me the longest, is trying to find a color that I'm happy with. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that color. I don't know, I always change my mind. Hmm. I might add actually a little bit of deep pink and this is actually like my go-to pink food coloring when I make slime. I have so many bottles of this. It's like the favorite, it's my favorite pink shade ever. So we'll mix that in. See, normally I would like cut all this part out so it looks like it's super quick to mix the color in but it actually takes a while because I do it all by hand and this is quite a big batch of glue. Oh, I'm not even in the frame. Okay, I'm coming back. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm happy with that color. Yeah, that's a really pretty like Barbie-ish pink, but I think I like it and I think it'll look really nice as a glossy slime. Alrighty, so because this is a glossy slime, next I'm going to, I think, add some conditioner. So I'm just going to add some of this in. Wee! This is getting empty. Okay, ooh, there we go. I'm also going to add some lotion and I'm going to be using this one from Bath and Body Works and this is Paris Amour and I like using lotions that have really nice scents because then it makes my slime smell really good. Okay. And then I think I'm going to add some baby oil. So let's see if I can get this 
lid off. Oh my gosh, can I get the lid off? Ooh. Oh no, it's like one of those childproof lids, but I can't, <laughs> I can't open it. Oh no, it's also Jillian proof. Come on. There we go. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Alrighty, let's add, I think we'll start with maybe that much. We can always add more. So now I'll just mix these ingredients in. And sometimes I find that the baby, the baby oil is kind of hard to mix in, but normally if I just keep working at it, it eventually all combines. I would love to know in the comments below, what is your favorite color of slime to make? Mine is definitely pink, any shade of pink slime I love. And the next I think is, oh, my next favorite color will probably be like mint green, but I find it's kind of hard to get the perfect minty green color. So when I do achieve it, I'm so happy. Whee! Okay. Um, I think I might add a little bit more I think that needs a bit more baby oil. I don't know. I don't. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more baby oil. See, you guys, this is seriously how I make slime. It's just a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and I don't know. I just guess hope that it all comes together, and then I just keep adding things until I'm happy with it. I used to when I first started making slime. I used to measure everything, but I don't know. I found out that you don't really need to measure it. Just kind of eyeball it, and you'll get used to what you do and don't like about slime so if you think it needs more of something just go for it alrighty try and get it off the side of the bowl so it looks nice and neat and tidy I am someone who gets into such a big mess while making slime. Oh my gosh, it's on the walls, it's on the floor, it's on my clothes. <laughs> oh, there's seriously like slime everywhere, but that's okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, I'm definitely happy with this. Oh my gosh. Look at it. It looks so good. Okay. Oh, do you guys like my nails, by the way? They're rainbow. <laughs> okay, let's go in with our activator. So I've just got my activator here. And my activator recipe is a half a teaspoon of borax mixed with one cup of water. And I just put mine in a bottle. So let's start with, let's start with that much. You can always add more, but it's really hard to deactivate it if you overactivate it. So less is more. Sorry if you can hear the dogs barking, my neighbor's dogs are barking and normally I would edit that out, but I can't. So this is like real life. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, we're starting to get there now. Sometimes I find that my glossy slimes take a little bit longer to activate, but they always get there in the end, which is good. Last night I made the most beautiful metallic slime. Oh, it was so incredible. I just felt like making some metallic slime. So I got out my pigments and it was so beautiful. So I think I'm going to have a metallic slime video up soon because that's like my latest obsession. So I like to take my time when I activate my slime. I like to add a little bit at a, a time instead of just going with a lot at the start. Because when I first started making slime, I actually always, nearly always, used to overactivate my slimes because I was kind of impatient and I'd just add way too much activator in the beginning. But it's way, way better just to add a little bit at a time and mix it and see how it's going. So this is actually probably what takes the longest, is activating the slime. But I'd rather do it this way instead of adding way too much and overactivating it and ruining my slime because that would make me so sad.
Oh, there's a truck going past. I'm sorry if you can hear that. So I'm just going to add some more activator. I've just got a jug of it here. Come on, slime. Activate. I think I'm going to go in with my hands now. And this is what I like to do when I'm activating slime. Just because I feel like sometimes with a spoon or a spatula, it just won't mix in properly. And then I can find that when I do start playing the slime, I've accidentally overactivated it. So I'm just going to go in with my hands now. But then this happens. So I'm like stuck to my slime now because I'm covered in it. So I'm just going to keep activating it. And hopefully it should come together. Ooh, I can feel it starting to come together now. Yay, this is going to be such an awesome slime. I've got the, some really cute charms to put on top as well and some really cute foam beads. So that should make it look really nice and sweet. A little bit more activator. There we go. Oh my gosh, maybe I shouldn't have made such a big batch of slime for this no edit video because bigger batches take longer to activate. But I thought it would look cooler if I had a massive batch of slime. So I have no regrets, but I'm sorry, it's taking a little bit longer to activate. Come on, you can activate. While I'm doing this, I would love to know in the comments below what slime videos you'd like to see from me in the future. I already have so many ideas and they're all so fun, but I would love to know what you guys would like to see. So just let me know in the comments below and I can't wait to read all of your comments. Oh my gosh, does anyone else's arms get sore when making slime? <laughs> Seriously, this big batch of slime, it's like a workout. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alrighty, I think we're really starting to get there now. Just got to be careful not to overactivate it because that is definitely something that I struggle with. You guys always say that you struggle with overactivating slimes and I'm there with you. I totally overactivate my slimes sometimes. It's seriously all about patience and just adding a little bit at a time and giving the slime a chance to work with the activator. Okay, I'm going to put both hands in now. Let's see. This is the messy part, you guys. This is the part that you don't normally see. Normally I'll just edit to it already being activated at this point, but I'm gonna show you everything today. Oh, my arms are getting so tired. I seriously need to work out more. This is embarrassing. Oh my gosh, Jillian, work on your fitness. Okay. Do we like the color? I think I really like the color. This is so pretty. Okay, note to self, definitely next time make a smaller batch of slime. This is huge. I think I used nearly half the, the, half the bottle of the Elmer's school glue, which I think is a gallon. So I think I used half of that. Whoops, <laughs> I got a bit carried away. Ooh. Okay, just a little more. Whoops, oh my gosh. 
gosh, that was nearly a disaster. <laughs> on this off the side of the bowl. I told you guys, I'm such a messy slime maker. When people make slime with no mess, I'm just in awe because I can't do that. I've always been a messy slime maker. Once I even got it on the roof. Yes, that is right. I got my slime on the roof. <laughs> okay, I feel like we're getting there now. I'm liking the texture of this. It took a bit to get there, but it is like half a gallon of glue. So it was going to take a bit more activator. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. <laughs> Whoa, this is a heavy slime. Okay, ooh, oh, that was a good bubble pop. I'm sorry, I talked through it. <laughs> Okay, so to finish this slime off, because you guys know how much I love my adding extras to slime, it's honestly my favorite part is decorating the slime. So like I said, I'm going to get some foam beads and I've also got some really cute ice cream charms. So I'll just grab those. Alrighty, so Maybe I'll zoom you in a little bit. There we go. So I've got some really cute little colorful sprinkles here, which I thought would look really nice with the pink slime. And then I've also got some pastel pink foam beads. So let's add those first. I'll zoom you back out. There we go. You guys are really getting a full slime tutorial with no edits. <laughs> All right, let's make this look cute. It's annoying me that the bowl is messy. Oh my gosh. Ah. Okay. Oh, I just love playing with slime so much. Okay. And then I'm going to add some colorful sprinkles. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh my gosh, it reminds me of Funfetti. And lastly, you guys know I love my slime charms. So I picked up these. Can you see them? There they are. 
these little ice cream slime charms and I'm just gonna pop these on top and oh my gosh my battery is going to die no this is not a time for my battery to die okay let's add these on top Alrighty, I think I think that's the finished slime. Oh my gosh, I love it. Ooh, okay. Alrighty guys, so that is the end of making my glossy pink slime with no edits. I'm now going to put it in a container and make it look all pretty. So this next part is going to be edited just so I can show you it properly. I want to show you different angles of it of, and everything. But oh my gosh, that was kind of stressful not being able to edit anything. Oh, I'm sorry if I talk too much. But yeah, that's the finished slime. Oh, it feels so cool with the foam beads. Okay, jumping in to the cute shots of this slime. Let's go. Thank you all so much for watching this unedited slime video. It was so much fun to film and it was also a little bit nerve wracking, but I think we got there in the end. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the slime that I made and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.